friend Bobby Jardine. How are you doing, Buzz? Good. And she is gonna make a little coconut pudding for us because I thought it was so delicious and it kind of goes with our Thai theme in a kind of funny kind of way. So where do we start? Well, I think we start with where the dessert started. Okay. Which is, it's my Auntie Barbara's coconut dessert. Right. And um, when I was at boarding school in England, we used to spend some holidays with my aunt. She wasn't a very good cook. <laughs> <laughs> But she always did this coconut dessert. Right. And it was just such a joy. It was wonderful and it was that little taste of the Caribbean which we all missed. Tell me where we start. Well, what we need to do is we're going to make a lovely roasted brown sugar and coconut, coconut topping, which okay. is all sort of caramelized and, and yeah. crunchy and so okay. on. And then so this is going to go into the oven, so yes. we're doing it in a So we're going pan. to roast it, yeah. No, we don't need as much of this sweet. And this is basically just a grated this coconut is, that you buy frozen. Yes, yeah, so it's not been <laughs> it's not been squeezed or anything. So this is just pure grated coconut. Pure, pure grated coconut. Yeah. Okay. So that's like maybe two handfuls of that. Right. Okay. And then some brown sugar. Yeah. How much do you want? I would put like three of those. Three of those. Yeah. Three so handfuls like, of brown sugar. It's <laughs> like three big tablespoons. And you mix it up like that? Mix it all up, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in about 350. All right. And check it in 20 minutes. Okay. Because it will, it, then we need to sort of actually give it a little stir around so it okay. doesn't burn. All right, okay. okay. I'll pop that in the oven. All right. So 350 for 20 minutes and then we'll check and see how it's going. This stuff is totally delicious, I have to tell you. So. This is um, two packs. Two packs of coconut milk powder. Yeah. yeah. Then we have an entire a tin of condensed milk. Oh, my father would love this. <laughs> One tin of sweetened condensed milk. Good grief! I have to have this. Lost. <laughs> the funnest bit. Right. Okay. That. Then two and a half cups of evaporated milk. Right. So we keep piling on the calories here. <laughs> the right. good thing is that normally it's finished in one sitting. Right. <laughs> you, know, you don't you have, have it in your fridge. Over so go. <laughs> that's that's fatal. All right. So we give that a whirl. Okay. And get it all mixed up. You want me to? You can do it for yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right. right. That's good. That can actually go and be put in the pan to warm. Okay. That just, I warm it up because sometimes with the gelatin, it, when you put the melted gelatin, the softened gelatin in the mixture, it can get a little bit lumpy. So if the milk is warm and the gelatin's warm, it'll all dissolve beautifully. Okay. So, so now, what actually what else, sink? this is what, what, what I do with this as well, is I put like a handful of the desiccated coconut in there. Right, okay. Just so it actually gives it a, a kind of nutty texture as opposed to just being smooth, smooth and blamangey. <laughs> so. right, what okay. I need is I just need to dissolve one tablespoon of gelatin. Now it's not a heap tablespoon. But I find it never dissolves absolutely, absolutely, so that's why I add it to the warm mixture. So that, that's actually dissolved much better than mine. <laughs> it's old and lumpy. <laughs> okay, okay. so right. what we do when that's sort of got transparent... Right. So you add it to the... Okay, actually no evidence of any lumps whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. Keep, keep stirring. Yeah, how much? I'm ready, Bob's your uncle, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. <laughs> She's in an anti bars original. Which <laughs> <laughs> is real blood, sweat and tears. So should I switch it off now? Should I just pour this in? Just pour it in, yeah. Okay. Now, because it's a fairly deep one, it'll take 
it'll take a few hours to set. Right, okay. But so yeah, should we should you leave it to cool slightly before you put it in the fridge? Yeah. So leave I it would. to cool slightly mm -hmm. before you put it in the mm -hmm. fridge. Pop it in the fridge, leave it for the day to set. Yeah. And there you have this delicious coconut pudding. Here we have one that was made earlier. And Buzz, let's mm -hmm. just have a little serving and see what you do. Are you going to eat this, the kidneys? I'm going to have a spoonful. <laughs> it's a sort of sexy dessert, actually. <laughs> okay. And then you take a generous handful of that. So this is what your coconut is actually going to look like yeah. when you've taken it out of the oven, right? It's just like... It's, it's all sort of been browned by the... It has to be brown sugar. Yeah. White sugar, it won't turn, turn it that lovely, yeah. rich. A little bit. No. <laughs> this stuff is so good. Go for it, girl. Go for it, girl. <laughs> that was totally delicious. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Buzz, for joining us. And Pleasure. That's it for our Thai show. I'll see you next week on Sankosh.